Hello and welcome to today's video. Um, I didn't know what look I was going for but this is the finished result. Um, it's a bit of a bronze goddess type beach look which we could all be doing with thinking about really because weather is miserable if you're in England um, and wherever else you are. I don't know if your weather's good. Uh, yeah so if you really if you'd like to see how I achieved this look then stay tuned. I've started off with my collection colour foundation you'll know this is one of my favourites and um, I have done my eyebrows already with the collection eyebrow palette and I'm just gonna get cracking on with I'm eyes. going to take my collection last imperfection concealer and I'm going to put that on my eyes to use as a base if you have got an, an eye primer go ahead and use that I'm just using this because this is what I've got on to hand but I like it and I'm primed and ready to go and I'm going to take the W7 Beat It palette and it's the nudes palette it looks like this very pretty colours I'm going to take the gold colour right on the end as a base and I'm taking my revolution brush, eye brush, stab that all in. Just put that all over the lid and the crease. Next I'm taking a barium pigment pigment and it is in a bronze colour. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take a damp brush. Just going to dampen that a bit. It makes the colour stronger if you dampen it. So nice, can you see? If you dampen it compared to putting it on dry, it's such a strong colour. So yeah. That's what I'm going to do and I'm going to pop it all over my eyelid. Like paint for your eyelids. So nice. <laughs> and what I'm going to do now is, it's supposed to be bronze but I think it's got a gold colour myself. I feel like it's got more of a gold and a bronze colour. Maybe I'm wrong. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this shimmery dark brown colour. I'm going to put this on the crease and the outer corner. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to drag that to the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. Fluffy brush, just blend that in. I'm going to take more of the bronze from Barry M. I'm going to damp brush once again and I'm just going to add it onto this bottom
like so. Blend, blend it out. I'm now taking more foundation on my beauty blender just to tidy it up a bit because I only started off with a light layer like I always do so to make it a bit heavier. Next up is concealer my last imperfection collection concealer I'm just going to put it all over my imperfection around my nose where it's all red and under my eye I'm running out, uh oh <laughs> what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to just take it all there and blend it down my nose on my chin a little bit and that's it take the smaller end of your damp beauty blender and just dab it in. Now I'm going to take a black eyeliner. This is the Bad Gal eyeliner. I'm going to put it in my waterline. Drag it along your waterline above. And what is done? Don't know if anybody else has this problem, but I always have a fear of doing the top of my waterline. Oh, my eyes are so sensitive as well. <coughs> right, I'm just going to highlight the inner corner, and this is from Boots um, front cover shimmery colours. I'm going to take the white colour just to highlight the inner corner of this so bloody nice. <laughs> you see? These are better worked with wet, these eyeshadows. Better off when you wet them. Like so. All done for that. You know when you're just not functioning right. <sighs> Got a really sore throat. <sighs> it's the woman's time of month. Pretty soon, I'm think it is anyway. But I have PCOS. Oh, I never know. <laughs> TMI, but that is how I work. <laughs> Right, what I'm going to do next is, oh, I'm going to take the Bourjois bronzer and I'm going to bronze myself all up. I'm not contouring. I'm just going to make this a nice bronzed goddess type look, if I could ever be a goddess. <laughs> you know there's a fat chance of that. <laughs> just take it where you'd normally contour. Get your ears as well because you don't want them to be pale white. <laughs> Just bronze yourself up. And your ears. And don't forget the jawline of what I call my double chin. Triple chin. Drag it down. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this Glow All Out, um, it's a luminizer and it's a highlighter but I'm going to use it as a blush because to, in my opinion it's not, more, it's not a fantastic highlighter, I feel like it's more of a blush, yeah definitely, um, and that's from Soap and Glory, excuse me, sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Real Techniques blush brush and because this is going to be all glowy and 
bronze goddess type thing I'm going to just give it a glow though I'll give it that but I do want the glow seeing as I were doing like a bronzed goddess type glowy look so it's all good this is Elizabeth Arden and this is a luminizer shimmer powder it's like a bronzy color though which is perfect and I don't know if this is still available because I've had it a while. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on the tops of my cheekbones. Look at that, it's right nice. I'm gonna put that all above all of my high points. Down my nose. Now before before you put mascara on, it's crucial to kill your lashes because it makes such a huge difference, you would not believe. So, don't forget to curl those lashes. Make sure you get every one of them. Spend, you can, sp I'd spend a bit of time doing them. I don't know if you can see the difference between that, you can see them already. And this one, you see that difference? You can see them fluttering up. Honest to God, if you haven't got a curler, every girl should have a lash curler in the collection. It's because it makes such a huge difference. I like my eyelash curler. I love it. Yep. <laughs> and I'm using the Bourjois Volume Glamour Mascara. And as I've said before, my dog liked to chew this and mascara is done makes a huge difference i love it so do get an eyelash curler if you haven't already um i'm a bit unsure what kind of lip to do i was thinking coral because it just reminds me of a bronzed beach goddess you know being on a beach coral or like this beigey i think i might do the coral lip oh I'm all rushed. <coughs> I'm going to take the... What is this? Hello? This is the Sally Hansen Natural Beauty Lip Colour. And it is in Sunburst. Perfect name for that as well, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. What I'm going to do over the top of that is I'm going to take the Tanya Burr's lip gloss and it is in I Found Nemo. Such a nice coral colour. It smells like sweets and this is the finished look I really like it I hope you enjoyed this video um, please do Give it a thumbs up, comment your thoughts, subscribe, and I'll keep the videos coming. Um, I really didn't know what look I was going for today, but it turned out it's a bronzed goddess type beach look, which we could all do with thinking about beaches right now, because weather's miserable. <laughs> but yeah, do subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all tomorrow.